Simple Cement, the plan that we open today, will contribute significantly to our plan of rebuilding and transforming Kenya. That transformation belongs to each and every one of us, <clears throat> to the people of this county and also the people of Kenya in general. Last year, as we campaigned, I spoke to many thousands of you, and each one of you made it clear that what you wanted were results, and you would not tolerate further delay in the delivery of jobs, development, food security, affordable health care, and housing. And this was the spirit behind my Big Four agenda. In renewing our commitment to serving the needs of the people of Kenya. And within the next four years, we intend to build half a million new homes. Within the next four years, we intend to bring universal health care so that no Kenyan family will ever again suffer not knowing how to pay for the care that they or their loved ones need. I am happy to hear of your agenda, Governor, for agriculture, and I promise you that in that we shall partner to ensure that Kenyans are food secure. And to secure the jobs and skills that our sons and daughters need to become self-reliant and prosperous, the basis is to build new industries such as these and to revitalize those that have fallen below the standards that Kenyans rightly expect. These goals are ambitious, and that is as it should be, for Kenyans expect nothing less of their leadership, and I trust that by working together we can achieve these ambitious goals. This plant will play its part in meeting these goals that we have set out, and its impact will be felt not just in this country, in this county, but indeed in the entire country. We start today with 700 direct jobs that the plant will bring right away. Once production is fully underway, Guru has informed me that by 2019, the plan is to raise that to 7,000 direct jobs. These jobs will teach our young people vital skills and these jobs. And it is these jobs that will build the economy of this country and these jobs that will have, again, a multiplier effect right across the country, again, as we have heard, of a town a small town as it is, but it has sprung up because of this plant. So we trust that this is the way we shall grow and develop our nation. You will appreciate, ladies and gentlemen, that the cost of cement contributes a huge part to the cost of new buildings. Indeed, I thank you, Guru, for your commitment previously to reduce the cost of cement, but once again, I come to you and request a further reduction in the cost of cement as part of our collective effort to bring the cost of building materials 
within the reach of those ready to put their efforts and capital into building new homes and businesses. This will strengthen the country because it will make it far easier for us to achieve our target of half a million new homes for Kenyans. In fact, we've also discussed, and again, this is the partnership that I'm looking for between national and county governments, because in an attempt to reduce cost, we don't have to tax people twice. Ministry of Mining is taxing this plant for their mining. The county government is taxing. We should have one, gov one, one tax, and we share between national government and county government. And this helps reduce cost and helps also attract investment. To see on as a killer pahali unataka kuchukua pesa, kuchukua pesa, na yu pesa hata hatujui na tumika kufanya nini. Wacha vijana wapata kazi jameni. Ladies and gentlemen, we ought to remember that this journey has started here in Kajiado today, but it is a journey that will continue to the rest of the country. I've been led to understand that in the next four years, both in Nakuru and in Mombasa, there are plans already underway to build new cement and steel factories. And Guru, when it comes to steel, with your pledge and promise that we shall no longer be importing clinker and steel, I look forward to groundbreaking your plants in Kilifi in the very near future. Your Excellency, sir, I am confident in your next five years tenure, we have group our group will put industries every year beginning from this march we are starting construction in nakuru cement plant followed by mombasa support of your agenda for maximum creation of the employment in our country we have already invested in nairobi machakos kajiado kiambu nakuru mombasa and kilifi counties we do not want to leave any place of kenya where our presence is not there i also urge all business community in Kenya and internationally that the Kenya has the most suitable environment for the government for the for your investment and the government policies are favorable for your investment each counties are supposed to be competing and providing the friendly environment for attracting the investors sir also my company is not left behind CSR activities the CSR activities is the most crucial for our company and in our total CSR we have done in this county in last three and a half years we have spent over 100 million shillings sir. Currently our total employment is 700 people here in, in this Simba Cement, National Cement, this plant. Out of 700 we have 300 employed locally Maasai. I am very proud of my Maasai community and uh, I, I really, they always force me to marry a Maasai girl, but it is very difficult if Muindi come and find a Lucy Maliangini in Tabu Jumbani. So I must confess, uh, you know, <laughs> since last seven years, some, some <laughs> since last seven years, 350 students we are sponsoring for the schooling. <laughs> sponsoring for the schooling which is going to be increased. This year, we are going to sponsor from this community 700 students for the schooling. Also, we support many students for the higher education. Sir, we have presently opened new boys' dormitory. Bana One, uh, the Honorable Kato was there. Last week, we have opened the boys' dormitory near Chulu Hill. And also, girls' dormitory, we are going to finish complete this year only. Four kilometers of, from here, we have adopted one school. Now the name has been given Devki Mukutan Primary School. When we, had, when we started the school, there was a 50 students. Now 400 students are studying and we provide food every day. We build also the classrooms and providing the sanitary facilities, food, and some teachers is also provided by our company. Your Excellency, sir, we have clean drinking water in this area. We laid down the water pipe from Kilimanjaro till the school for the people and for the school to use that fresh water for the drinking. There was no fresh water available in this area. In this juncture, I just want to say, because we have come, 
I would like to donate as this same, from the same clinker 5,000 bags of cement. As per your wish, wherever you want to donate, in the school or a needy place, which will be, our company is committed, we will wait just for the order. What we are seeing today is a demonstration of what investors can do, indigenous investors can do in our country. And four years ago, Guru came here, we discussed opportunities for what we can do as a country, and one of the key focus of our private sector has been to see what we can do locally that we are currently importing. And Klinka is one of the major imports that we have as a country. And what you have seen today here demonstrates the transformation that we can do for our cement sector. And we're looking forward to working with other sectors to do something similar to reduce the amount of import bill that we have.